Good day to you, Jimmy Brino here. I'm going to bring you a tips and tricks video on Prison Architect. Not really a tutorial, but a few pointers to help your prison become more efficient. Let's move around a bit. So, the first two things is going to be when you start off right off the bat. A few things that people don't really know that they only have 10,000 in the bank. But if you click on bottom right there, go to grants, click on all this shit here, and you will get a whole bunch of money. But the conditions are you have to do all the stuff on the left here. You've got to build all this, blah 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 blah, you can read for yourself. Um, but you're going to do all this anyway, so there really is no benefit in not taking those grants. Second point is stopping prisoners from entering your prison while you're uh, just starting out. You don't want in 22 hours, you don't want 8 prisoners to come in. There is an option when you start the game whether you want uh, this to keep happening. All you have to do is come in here, click these open or close. Close uh, means that you won't get any prisoners into your prison. And it kind of helps you in the beginning of the game, or you know, if you're running low on money and you don't have enough cells, just close uh, the prison off to prisoners. Well, <laughs> yeah, close your prison off and just maintain the amount you have at the moment. Point numero three is conserving power. So here we've got a building that we've just built and we're gonna pause it here. We've got a power generator up there, utilities got the power running into the building. The ways you want to conserve power is removing light bulbs guys. There's so many light bulbs they put in these rooms. Um, it's really unnecessary. All you really need is a few light bulbs so you can before they put in the lights just cancel all the jobs. like so and you know when they put these light bulbs in here we go you know it lights up the room enough and uh, this is really going to help your power consumption later in the game when they, oh, you've got so many buildings so many lights really unnecessary there you go right guys point number four is regarding water and when you build a water uh, pump station you've got two options a large pipe and a small pipe a large pipe costs a bit more a small pipe pretty cheap. A large pipe can, uh, the water will flow forever and ever, you, you won't run out of power uh, to run it. The small pipe however uh, has a limit to it, so when you're powering your toilets and uh, all that rubbish in your cells, uh, you're going to use small pipes for that. But I'm pretty sure the limit is 39 meters, so down right here I've got water running for 45 meters in the small pipe and eventually it does run out of power right there. So after this the water will not flow in these small pipes and I'll quickly do this to show you how far it is. It's 39 meters of small pipe that you will get to power your water and uh, this is just something a few people don't know and they build a uh, large pipe set, too many large pipes and uh, this will save you a bit of money and I'm not sure if it saves you power, it might do, I'm not too sure on that one. Right, point number five, I've got my lovely office set up here, look at this delicious office. Um, is the next point is to get your warden as soon as possible. Uh, where is he, warden? Oh, Pixie's my daily budget. Just gonna have to fire some of these workers there. Um, yeah, get your warden as soon as possible because once you unlock your warden, you will unlock bureaucracy, and through this you can unlock a whole uh, range of stuff. Mental health is something I go for quite early on uh, because it will give you a psychologist that will provide you. Oh, it says there insight into what your prisoners needs are so whether they're hungry they're dirty whatever and this is uh, really important to keep your prisoners happy the other thing you want to research as soon as possible is prison labor deployment uh, deployment and prison labor rather prison labor will allow you to um, your prisoners to work in workshops and laundry and laundry is quite important because one of your prisoners needs that don't doesn't get a uh, as much attention is clothing and you want to get that quite early on and deployment will allow you to deploy them to the various uh, rooms to work in and they can work in the kitchen and they can work instead as janitors as well so they will clean your prison for you so yeah that's really important to do uh, early on and finance isn't really that important and health isn't really that important as well at first you want to do it uh, later on legal isn't in the game yet so you don't have to worry about that now I've loaded uh, one of my small prisons here just to show you the next few uh, which is that build your kitchen close to the deliveries area. 
And uh, this one reason you do this is because they will keep running back and forth in ingredients and stuff, and it will just increase efficiency. And what you can do uh, is what I've done is link storage and the kitchen through a kind of staff back alleyway, uh, fenced it off, put staff doors in there, so they can just rush out here and collect stuff. So this guy is doing right here. And what this will do is it will just increase. Oh god, that's really dirty. Look at that shit. Um, it will just reduce time. Uh, between collecting and cooking and stuff like that. And something that's related to that is the canteen. You want to build a canteen as close to your kitchen as possible because your chefs will run back and forth from the kitchen to the canteen as the cook is doing right here to collect stuff like garbage, collect trays, deliver the food and so on and so on. And what you can do is just put staff doors in there, uh, fence off these areas here so the prisoners can't really access it easily. And by doing this, you, you do increase the risk of prisoners escaping when there are riots and, and stuff like that. So, but um, I haven't encountered any problems so far. Now, the next is considering uh, building your cells. And if you want your, your prisoners as cramped as possible and as little space as possible, then build your foundations uh, 9 meters, nine meters uh, down. And you know this will this will give you this kind of uh, area so you can build cells opposite each other. And uh, however, yeah, I've experimented with um, doors, prison prison doors, and cell doors. And if you're doing cell doors, then you need to expand it by two, so it will be I think 11, 11 down. So you can put a wall here and a cell door. But um. In my prison I haven't put cell doors in, it doesn't seem to affect them that much, they, they do still feel, uh, let's go in here, freedom, freedom is down, you know, well, they're feeling really free because they don't have cell doors, uh, and we'll come to clothing in a bit, I'll show you why this is red. The other thing you want to do is build your showers as close to your prisoners, uh, prisoners as possible, so that when they do come to shower time, it takes as little time as possible, and uh, building them close to your cells, is an easy way uh, to do this and the other thing that you can do is build your laundry close to it as well it will reduce the time taken for prisoners to collect dirty clothes, wash them and put them back in and there is a thing with Alpha 10 where the laundry is bugged and that is why my clothing needs are high right now I've got you know, all these clean clothes in the, in the laundry basket and I will show you when it comes to work time what happens uh, what happens with the workers? They just stand about in the middle and not doing anything. I don't know why. I think there's the bug with, with uh, Alpha 10. But again, again, the game is in Alpha, guys, so uh, no complaints there. Now, this is why I tell you to build your laundry as close to your cells as possible. It's because they take so long to get these laundry baskets to the cells. And having it down here, uh, I'm really just planning for the next set of cells I build down here. But look at them, they just move too slow and having a laundry up here will help out a lot with that problem. Now the other thing is your yard guys, your yard is your best friend uh, in helping your prisoners needs. Look at them all rioting out here, they're all demanding clothing because of my laundry bug. But in your um, yard you can do a few things here and one tip I picked up by watching videos is toilets. You can put toilets outside your cells and I really uh, help out your prisoners there because they just queue up to take a lot of shit in the yard. And you can put a few benches and weights bench will help your exercise and just benches will help general comfort. And pool tables will help recreation go down quite a bit. And the other thing that is quite important is putting lots of phone boosts, guys. Because putting phone boosts will help with um, your the need for family here. And um, yeah, family is qu it's quite a big issue. If, you know, you can't have visitors every day, so they will use the phones to call their parents. And that's everything with the yard there that will help you out. Oh my God, I spotted a naked guy. <laughs> Now the last thing is with the regime, um, you know I've found that this kind of regime is is beneficial to uh, the prisoners, they don't seem to complain too much about anything, I mean I've got a lot of free time here, maybe too much free time, I could put in more work, but I've got one, two, three, four, five, six hours of work a day, I've got two meals a day, two hours each, 
a bit of yard time and they sleep from 11 to 4 and that seems you know plenty of sleep for them so I'd say at least at least three four hours of free time a day uh, put two hours a yard in there uh, two meals a day works fine and yeah that's it for a regime All right, let me just show you one or two bugs that I am experiencing in my game. One is with these workshop presses that uh, I have built in a straight line here, but they just seem to go nuts uh, doing these, these with these workshop presses. Pretty crazy. The other bug I'm experiencing, guys, is with the, with the laundry. They don't seem to do anything as long as I deploy. Uh, as many prisoners as possible to the laundry, they just kind of stand out, huddle, huddle in a bunch here. <coughs> oh, excuse me. They huddle in a bunch and don't do anything at all, which is kind of annoying. And it's really affecting uh, my prisoners' clothing needs, and there is going to be a riot soon, I assure you. Now, hopefully, this has been uh, helpful to you. It's just a few, you know, simple tips to help keep your prison more efficient and uh, some of them do seem like common sense but you know a few people do miss them out and hopefully you picked up one or two things that will help you out uh, in playing prison architect and if you do give it a like and hit subscribe for more prison architect videos you can watch my playthrough of it uh, but I did kind of mess up and I was just starting the game and uh, things kind of went a bit hairy <laughs> But I'm thinking about creating a new prison, something that looks a bit nicer than this one. This is just to uh, kind of learn the basics, so it does look kind of boring, if you know what I mean. Uh, anyway guys, thanks for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. Peace.